Good day, students. I am Sir Maki, your teacher for today. Our objective for today is to react on the lay value judgment on critical issues that demand sound analysis and call for from actions. Our lesson for today is about reacting to lay values judgment on critical issues that demand sound analysis and call for prompt action. As you are nearing to set your foot in the stage of adulthood, your decisions and responsibilities will also be bigger and might affect your life and the people around you in one way or another. You will be confronted to make your own decisions and judgment. Thus, swift and irrational thoughts should not dominate as it might trigger criticisms and unfavorable output. Instead, critical and sound analysis of case at hand should always be taken, taken into consideration. There are instances when you may be asked to weigh and evaluate options based on the given evidences. Your basis could be facts or your personal preferences. Let's see the difference between factual judgment and value judgment. Factual judgment. Factual judgment are based on observed facts or quantitative analysis. For example, Region 4A is composed of five provinces, namely Cavite, Laguna, Batangas, Rizal, and Quezon. Value judgments express statements of opinion based on personal preferences. For example, Region 4A is a big region in terms of land area. Distinctions between factual judgments and value judgments have been drawn in the foregoing table. We may consider that factual judgment is true to all, yet we can conclude that value judgments aren't real. Rather, it could be true to someone but not for the others. This is because we have our own personal preferences that might affect our judgment or decisions. Likewise, our definitions and viewpoints are relative to one another. Alright, now let's see how you make critical judgment on this part. Study the following arguments on one of the pressing global issues on the use of paper and plastic bag and choose which side may gain your favor based on the given evidences. Elaborate the reasons justifying your choice. Use the prompt given after the table and explaining your stand. Also, be guided by the rubric that follows. Rubric Criteria Mechanics and Grammar Five points. Content contains minimal number spelling of grammatical error. Four points. Content contains several errors in punctuation spelling and or grammar that do not interfere with the meaning. Three points. Content contains many errors in punctuation spelling and or grammar that interfere with the meaning. Organization. Five points. Logical progression of ideas from beginning to end as well as the strong connections between and among ideas are observed. Four points. Adequate progressions of ideas from beginning to end as well as the adequate connections between and among ideas are observed. Three points. An even progression of ideas from beginning to end and inconsistent or unclear connections between and among ideas are observed. Evidence of Understanding 5 points. Understanding of the topic is excellently executed in the summary by using important information from the table. 4 points. Understanding of the topic is well executed in the summary by using some of the information from the table. 3 points. Understanding of the topic is poorly executed in the summary by using few information from the table. Paper or plastic. 
Paper bag disadvantages. It requires more energy in greenhouse gas emissions to produce. Requires forests to be cut down to produce the paper bags. Produces a higher concentration of toxic chemicals compared with making single-use plastic bags. Weighs more than plastic means its transportation requires more energy. Now, the advantages of paper bags. Paper bags are 100% biodegradable, reusable, and recyclable. Paper bags present less of a suffocational risk to young children or animals. Plastic bag disadvantages. It often takes centuries to decompose. Can create a dreadful waste. Can contaminate food sources. Hard to recycle. The advantages of plastic bags. Plastic bags are more durable than paper bags. They are less prone to tearing and easier to carry and are far more useful in bad weather. Plastic bags are reusable as trash can liners or as a storage bags or for picking up after the dog. Plastic bags last longer than paper bags and can be recomposed unlike paper bags. Based on the above evidences, I prefer to use blank for the following reasons. Very good. Now you have seen how factual judgment and value judgment differ from each other. So now, identify whether the following statements show factual judgment or value judgment. Write FJ for factual judgments and VJ for value judgment. Number 1. Green color is a mixture of blue and red colors. Number 2. Green color makes the mind ease and relax. Number 3. Jeff Bezos may be the happiest person alive as he can afford everything he wanted. Number 4. Jeff Bezos, owner of Amazon, has a net worth of $188.5 billion Rank as the first richest person on earth today, according to the Business Insider. Number 5. Southern Tagalog is the biggest region in terms of population size among the 16 regions in the Philippines, contributing 15.42% to the 76.5 million population of the country as recorded in Census 2000. Number 6. Southern Tagalog region might face resources scarcity as millions of people inhabited the region. Number 7. Taylor Swift's height is 5 foot 10. Number 8. Taylor Swift is tall. Number 9. Algebra is a branch of mathematics. Number 10. As a branch of mathematics, algebra is a tough subject. Excellent! You may now identify the differences between factual judgment and value judgment. Look closely at the picture below and answer the questions that follows. Explain the concept of factual judgment and value judgment that you can observe in the pictures above. Who speaks the truth between Juan and Lily? Support your answer.
Good job. Factual judgments. This can be defined as the truths of our physical world. The material surroundings which one detects via the senses. It's a judgment based on observed facts or quantitative analysis. For example, the Philippine president is the head of the state and the commonwealth chief of the Republic of the Philippines. Value judgments. These are not acceptable via the senses. It can only be derived through one's own subjective reasoning. It must be compared against one's own faith or ethical worldview in order to draw personal conclusive result. For example, the current president of the Philippines tends to be harsh with words at times, yet he is a passionate leader. Given in column A are the factual judgments. Find their corresponding value judgment in column B. Send your answers in my messenger account. Column A number 1. Michael Jordan won 6 NBA championships. Earned a total of 14 MVP awards. Was selected to 14 All-Star games and won 10 scoring titles. Number 2. United States of America has the most Miss Universe title with 8 wins. Number 3. Corey Aquino is the first woman head of state of the Philippines. Number 4. Florence Regalado ranked first in the 1954 bar exams with a mark of 96.70%, the record is the highest average in the Philippine bar examinations to the date. Number 5. Orange color is a combination of red and yellow. Column B. Letter A. This color increases one's appetite. Letter B. He is the best basketball athlete of all times. Letter C. They have the most beautiful woman in the globe. Letter D. She stomp men's ego as they have always occupied the highest office in politics for decades. Letter E. He is the best lawyer. Well done! Communicate your personal assessment as indicated in the learner assessment card. Your reflection will be sent through my email account. Personal assessment on learner's level of performance. Using the symbols below, choose one which best describes your experience in working on each given task. Draw it in the column for level of performance LP, be guided by the descriptions below. Star. I was able to do or perform the task without any difficulty. The task helped me in the understanding the target content or lesson. Checked. I was able to do and perform the task. It was quite challenging but still help me in understanding the target content or lesson. Question mark. I was not able to do or perform the task. It was extremely difficult. I need additional enrichment activities to be able to do or perform this task. That would be all. Goodbye.